Okay, so what you got here is tiger tracks running right alongside the wallaby tracks. It's been chasing it down somewhere up ahead. They probably crossed the creek. You can see the distance between some of the strides and the tiger's prints. These are fresh from last night. And here it's jumped the creek, landed over here. There's one paw print here. That's a hind foot. And there's another one there. But you can see the back of the hind foot, that indentation there. Now it's going up here, another deep there, big strides, pushing up really hard, so it's probably running really hard. There's a bit of a kerfuffle here. These are my footprints from before. Still going along the creek here. Seems to have lost the wallaby prints unless it's gotten in front of the tiger here. There's a whole big commotion going on here as well. Maybe the wallaby turned direction here and went back up by the looks of it. Maya, back it up. Sit down. Because, oh no, they still go along here. There we go. Must have been running pretty fast for that back toe to only touch the ground briefly. So I'm here with Mark out at the beach and we've found a Bennett wallaby, Bennett's wallabies prints here where it's getting chased and a really big large five-toed beast is chasing it you can see the track line going along there look at that side by side all the way so we've got our fifth digit here that's a uh, front right then we've got a rear foot with that twist the other rear foot then we've got the front left there's the fifth digit there front right fifth digit there you know, like how much more obvious does it have to get when you've got these large five-toed prints, splayed toes, long claws, sausage-like digits, belting along in a beach in the middle of nowhere, northeast Tasmania, chasing a Bennett's wallaby. Here's another one with the fifth digit right here. Look at this. He's a fresh. He's only what, a day or two old from the last tide. I'm not sure when the last high tide was, which for Mark was, but. Less than 48 hours old, these prints, probably t less than 24 hours old. Look at this one. I'm going to plaster cast some of these. Mark's having a good time. And we'll uh, see what we can come up with. Pity all that sand's There's that nut right there. Yeah. That's going to snap off later. But we'll try and grab it anyway to show the full length of it. It's the ones you are. Uh... Yeah, I stuffed one of them up trying to build a mold around it. That's all right. 
I like this one here. This one here. It's too bad. You can see it's had rain on it. Yeah. Let's put some of that other gunk in there. Yeah, look at that. I think this was the one with the right and left. That was good that you had Phil there that day when yeah. you were pouring plastic out. <laughs> yeah. Double step there. Oh yeah. Back foot and there's the front foot. Mm. Get that. And I should not waste this one. That'd be his back foot, because it looks like there's two front feet up here. Yeah, hard to tell. We haven't got enough to pour anymore anyway. Nah, so that's alright. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. And here they all are. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. There's that little nut on the bottom of that one. Yeah, here we've had a couple of rear ones, front ones, but the splay in the toes, the gaps. Yeah. The gaps between the digits, look at that. There's no dog. No. That hand's like a freaking giant possum. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. we'll find out one day what leaves these prints when we film it leaving the prints. Yes. That was right. the dud, that one there. Yeah. That was the dud one where it went thick. But we okay. got three digits in the heel, so that's still good. Yeah. Here's your dermal ridging there. Oh yeah, there's two. I'm going to try to load planter pad. It's got one planter pad. That's right. With the ridge lines. Exactly. So in 2014-15 I saw a documentary on television with Dr. Tim Flannery and Dr. Aaron Caymans, uh, who is a um, marsupial fossilized trackway expert. I'm not sure if he's a professor yet, but he was a doctor back then. But he's the man to talk to when it comes to fossilized marsupial footprints in Australia. 
Uh, that documentary had the both of them travelling on the coast looking at layers of sandstone that was around 10,000 years old and studying footprints. Now, under this cliff face, a layer of the sandstone had collapsed and revealed a three-dimensional impression of what they were adamant was a thylacine's footprint because it was too old for it to be a dingo and it was very large. Now, this information um, is you know, now 11 years old. At the time, I spoke to Dr. Caymans and asked him if he could provide me with a, a photograph from that film because I couldn't find that documentary anywhere online at all. And he didn't provide me with a photograph because his paper on trackways was still being peer-reviewed and he hadn't published yet. Now, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, he actually provided a photograph of that print to a friend of mine from the group, Robert Mitchell. Um, and here is that photograph for everybody to see. And when you compare it to the modern day thylacine prints that Mark Taylor and I find and other people find all around Australia, A, it is incredibly large and B, it is almost bang on identical, despite what Nick Mooney might think about that, hey? And we have more prints. This one's going across the road here. Got the, another good, nice deep print from your claw drag there. Big black one pad on that front foot there. These ones look on nice this morning. These ones are pretty damn fresh. These things are running around here, look at this. Nice claw drag. Hang on, straight across there. Look at that. Some monster. Here again. Just give that standard. Four inches wide by three and a half to four inches high, depending on how fast it's running. This is a beautiful impression here. That one's possibly even a little bit there. Most of Australia, you have served us well. Running on these roads, in plain sight, if you're here at the right corner. Here, yeah, look at the spray on those toes, look how wide they are. Again, yeah, massive claw drag. Here as well. Look at the size of the claws on it.
Okay, so here we are with a track line that I've just found coming across a road. There's a gate there coming out of a property. Very well used track line here coming across the road. And we have some prints. And everyone's going to say, oh, they might be dog prints. But as you come over here and take a closer look, you'll see five toes. Fifth toe being right down there, just below that little nut or heel of that prehensile foot. Well, not a prehensile foot, it's a um, elongated foot. Could be dog. But I tell you what, those fifth toes sure are funny. There it is again on that one. That one. There's a couple going back the other way. They look like rear, that one. Another one there. There's obviously a wallaby on the run here. If it's a dew claw, it's in a bloody funny spot. And I'd love to know how it gets its hock on the ground like that. That's pretty interesting for a dog. Not an expert, but this is a pretty good find.